Hello, in this video, we will cover different types of questions that can be asked on strings in Python. Before we jump into questions, let's do a quick revision of strings. Like many other popular programming languages, strings in Python are array of bytes representing Unicode characters. Strings in Python are surrounded by either single quotation or double quotation marks. Python strings can also be multi-line string by either using cryptic codes or using slash at the end of each line. To note, Python does not have character data type. A single character is simply a string with a length of 1. Python strings are immutable, which means they cannot be changed after they are created. You can however create new strings by changing existing string. We will now go over different operations we can do on string. First, there is a len function which gives the size of the string. Some of the operators that work on string are n, not n, plus, multiplication, comparison, plus equal to operators. Do note that if you are trying to add, both the data type should be string. Next is string indexing. Square brackets can be used to access individual characters of a string. Python uses zero-based indexing, means the first character is at zero index, second at first, and so on. If you give an index which is beyond the end, it will give an exception of string index out of range. Python also allows negative indexing, wherein the last element can be obtained by writing minus one, followed by minus two for second last, and so on, as shown in this example here. While indexing returns single characters, Python has slicing by which you can retrieve a substring from a string. The syntax for the slice eta is as shown. It has a start, a end, and a step counter. The slice picks up element from the start and extends up to but does not include the end, as shown in this example here. The good part of slicing is that you put in values which are beyond the array size, it will not give an error, but it will just return till the point the index is valid. Python also has number of string methods. Some of them are shown here. There are set of methods to get you more information about string like is digit, is lower, etc. Then there are some methods which alter some parts of the string and return a new string like capitalize, replace, etc. Let's look at some example questions here. First is where you are asked to give the output. Here you will first mark the reverse index and see what is minus 5 and minus 1 position. Then you will add the 2 to give the output. Another similar question is as shown. This is a slicing question. You will first mark the index of the string. Then since start is not specified, it is considered from the starting of the string. So you will get substring from 0 to 3. Similarly, in next string, the end is not specified. So it will default till end of the string. This will give you substring from index 4 to end. If you add it, you will see it gives you the original string itself. Another question is to use slicing to reverse the string. Here you will use the step counter as minus 1. Since we have not specified start and end, it will automatically take it as the string start and end. And as we have given the step counter as minus 1, it will reverse the string. Now we will look at some questions which can be asked on string functions. One of the questions that can be asked is to predict the output. Here since indexing starts with 0, m will get replaced with hash and the output will be as shown. Another question could be to write a program to count the number of digits in a string. Here we will first initialize the count to 0, then we will set up a for loop and use the isDigit function to check if each individual character is digit or not. If yes, we will increment the count. Once we are out of the for loop, we will print the count. Similar code can be used to count for spaces, uppercase, lowercase, 
etc. If you want to solve more problems like this, you can visit my website for many more questions on Python. Good luck!